China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi has held talks with his Russian counterpart to call for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas conflict, for bilateral peace talks to resume and for the UN Security Council to act to help resolve the conflict. In a meeting in Beijing on Monday, Wang told Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov that the Security Council, of which China and Russia are among five permanent members, must take action. And the major powers should play an active role, according to a readout by China's foreign ministry. It is imperative that a ceasefire be put in place, that the two sides be brought back to the negotiating table, and that an emergency humanitarian channel be established to prevent a greater humanitarian disaster, while was quoted as saying of the war that started when Hamas led a coordinated attack on Israel on October 7. Do you have questions about the biggest topics and trends from around the world? Get the answers with SCMP Knowledge, our new platform of curated content with explainers, FAQs, analyses and infographics brought to you by our award-winning team. China's Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Mao Ning confirmed in a regular media briefing on Monday afternoon that four Chinese nationals had been killed in the conflict. Two are missing and six are injured. China has not yet launched an official evacuation program, but Beijing has urged Chinese citizens to take commercial flights to return home as soon as possible. Commercial flights between China and Israel are still in operation. We will seriously study and judge the security situation in Palestine and Israel closely track the opening of local air and land routes and security conditions, and do our best to provide assistance to Chinese citizens," Mao said. China is providing emergency humanitarian aid to the UN Relief and Works Agency for Palestine refugees in the Near East UNRWA and the Palestinian National Authority. A statement on Monday by the China International Development Cooperation Agency said the aid was intended to alleviate the humanitarian situation in Gaza and would be used to address urgent needs, such as food and medical care. Wang's meeting with Lavrov followed a series of phone calls with the foreign ministers of several Middle Eastern countries over recent days, in which China said it supported unity among Islamic countries on the Palestine issue and opposed overreaction particularly actions that punish civilians. In a call with Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdelayan on Sunday, one condemned excessive exercising of the right to self-defense. Although he did not mention Israel, according to a readout by China's foreign ministry, the right to self-defense should be exercised in compliance with international humanitarian law including the protection of civilians and hostages, Wang said, according to the statement. The ministry said Wang supported Islamic countries, making a unified voice in relation to Palestine amid the war between Israel and Hamas. However, a Chinese academic has questioned what a unified voice by Islamic nations means. In Gang, a research fellow at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences said Iran's backing of the Hamas group through political support. Militant training, funding and the supply of weapons made a united position nearly impossible. Is this unified voice calling for Israeli-Palestinian reconciliation or opposing it? Iran's stance is clearly in favor of Hamas. How could other Islamic countries have such a unified voice with Iran, he said. On Saturday, in a call with the Saudi Foreign Minister Prince Faisal bin Farhan al Saud, one condemned Israel's collective punishment of Gaza's civilians. Saying its actions went beyond self-defense, the Foreign Ministry said. One said the current top priority was to de-escalate the conflict and avoid a severe humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza before it further jeopardized the Middle East peace process. He also reiterated Beijing's support for an independent Palestinian state as a way out of the Israel-Palestine conflict. 
China will stand on the side of peace and justice and support the Palestinian people in their just cause of safeguarding their national rights. Wang said. In a separate call with Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan on Sunday, Wang called for a ceasefire and resumption of dialogue between the two parties in the conflict, as well as the opening of humanitarian aid routes to Gaza, the Foreign Ministry said. China is coordinating with the relevant parties to avert a humanitarian disaster and will continue to provide emergency humanitarian assistance to the Gaza Strip through the United Nations and bilateral channels. Wang said. With the intense bombardment of Gaza by Israel continuing, the UN agency supporting Palestinian refugees said on Sunday that more than one million people had been displaced in the first seven days of the conflict in Gaza. The agency also said its Gaza-based staff could no longer provide aid to people in Gaza, with most of its 13,000 staff there now displaced or out of their homes. At least 2,750 Palestinians have been killed and 9. 700 wounded in Israeli airstrikes on the Gaza Strip since October 7, Reuters reported on Monday, quoting the Palestinian Health Ministry. Israel Defense Forces told CNN on Monday the country's death toll had reached 1. 400, according to the Iranian readout, Amir Abdelayan said the conflict situation was highly dangerous and events could spiral out of control at any moment. He further called for Beijing to use its capacity to stop Israel's attacks on the people of Gaza. The Iranian and Turkish foreign ministers said their governments would continue to work with China to politically settle the Palestine issue and to seek lasting peace in the region. Ian Chung, an associate professor at the National University of Singapore, said Beijing's public messaging had been in support of the Palestinian cause generally without making a particular distinction between Hamas, other Palestinian political groups and Palestinian people. While Beijing historically supports Palestine and its right to exist, its current language seems like it is also supportive of Hamas. Only Beijing can explain its own position, Chong said. Analysts said the increase in diplomatic engagement showed Beijing was using its diplomatic influence and advantages in the region to promote rationality among the parties to try to avoid turning the conflict into a large-scale regional war. Beijing hoped the Israel-Hamas conflict would not escalate, spill over and involve more countries, which would undermine the hard-won wave of rapprochement in the Middle East. According to Wan Xiaobiao, a Middle East affairs specialist at Shanghai International Studies University. China's stance on the Palestine issue is consistent, which is to support the just cause of the Palestinian people and to resolve the Palestinian-Israeli conflict through the two-state solution. One said. Chung said it was beneficial to have another voice urge restraint to prevent escalation and the spreading of conflict in the Middle East but it remained to be seen what China could and would offer. In a further effort to help cool the conflict, Beijing's Special Envoy for Middle East Affairs Fai Jun will visit the region this week, aiming to push for a ceasefire, protect civilians, de-escalate the situation and promote peace talks.